yeah, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. So, one of us in the art community has become pretty problematic. Nobody is talking about him. So I figured I would go out on a limb here and just, you know, and talk about it. Jazza acts like he's a really kind, humble, and thoughtful, creative person. And as someone that has met Jazza, hum <coughs> hum humble brag, I can genuinely say that this is, that's all true. It's all, it's all true. However, he is pretty problematic and I'm gonna tell you why. Two years ago, Jazza had the audacity to release the best art box that I had ever opened in my life. Um, and then he had the even greater audacity to do it again last year, times three. He released three art boxes. They were all, it was freaking amazing. And the fact he keeps releasing these products is, is a problem for me. Do you see how organized these cabinets, don't look at that bit. Do you see how organized these cabinets are? It took me like a whole hour to do this. And now Jazza has released some more art products that are gonna be just as good as they were before. And I don't have room in my cabinets, so I'm gonna mess up my cabinet organization for more Jazza products. But it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. This art box, this is exciting. I'm so excited. Jazza is the king of art boxes. Like, he makes the best art boxes I have ever used in my life. I've literally not watched any videos on this to know what's actually specifically inside. Um, I did click on the video, but I kind of like, I didn't actually watch it. I just, I think I commented on it to say congratulations, but I didn't actually watch it because I want this to be a surprise. So today we're going to be opening up this amazing new art box by Jazza, who very, very kindly did send this to me. I would have purchased this personally if he hadn't sent it to me anyway. So Jazza, first of all, thank you so much. Today we're going to be opening up this art box, seeing what's inside and using the supplies. If one of you would like to win a Jazza Pro Artist Series Illustrator Collection box. I'm gonna be purchasing one of them to send to one of you watching right now. So if you would like to enter to win, this is not associated with Jazza's giveaway or anything to do with Jazza. This is just something that I wanna to do to support Jazza and also to help out one of you. So if you would like to enter, all you need to do, leave a comment down below letting me know what you would do with this box if you had it. Feel free to give the video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed and I'll pick a winner in a week on my next video. So yeah, I think it's about time we get started opening this box and let's go. So inside the Jazz's Pro Artist Series Illustrator Collection box here, we have the Illustrator by Spectrum Noir dual tip brush markers with storage. Jazza is here, he has no beard. Apparently he's supposed to have a beard, a detachable one because he's grown one, but there isn't a beard. So Jazza, I hope there's a beard in here, but if not, it's okay. Wow, that is huge. Look how big this is. This is like a really big box. I actually don't think I own any Spectrum Noir markers except the smaller set that a friend sent me, but this is a big set of markers. And what's really cool is it's Jazza, it's Jazza's face and Jazza's collection of, of like his favorite shades and stuff. So this is very cool. Let's open this up. Oh no, this tape. My mortal enemy. Okay. So inside here, this exclusive limited edition set includes 24 hand-picked colors by Jazza with two modular storage trays to start your new marker collection. Oh, I remember seeing something about the, the modular storage tray. Okay, so we have this beautiful, oh, it smells. Oh, it's like a, you've ever smelt a new book before. This is like a really nice set of markers. And if I take them out, look at that, how cool. This stacks. It stacks with all of the colors like this. So you can see them. I feel like markers are the kind of thing that always looks so pretty when like neatly stacked, but mine are just like thrown into a little container. This is really nice though, because you can just like stack it and remove it. Next up, we have, oh, we got some jazz. Oh my gosh, there's so many. So we've got some Jazza illustrations here, which we can color in with our markers. Uh, oh, we have some blank sheets as well. So let's have a look in here to see what we've got. So we have, oh wow, look at these. These are like some classic artworks from Jazza here. There's a huge amount of different illustrations that you can you can color in. Oh, that one's so cute. It's a little kid with his fox having a tea party and an old man. I won't go through every single one because if you want to see them, I'm pretty sure Jazza has done that, but you've got all of these. Oh, I love the dragon. That's awesome. 
you have all of these classic jazz illustrations here. Oh, that one's so cute. Look at that. I love that one. Just a really nice collection of jazz work. And this is on the kind of paper that you can actually use markers on. So very, very handy. We can use our markers on this. And then of course, we've got a giant stack here of marker paper, which is really nice because I do have a couple of books of marker paper because I'm personally not really a marker person. I don't use them very often. I don't really know what paper is decent for markers and what isn't. So I've just basically got what I've got from different art boxes. But yeah, we've got a nice got a nice stack here of paper. I'm not sure if I'm going to make my own illustration yet or if I'm going to colour in one of those, maybe one of each. I'm not too sure. But there's that. Next up, we have pencils. Ooh, okay. This is going to be a fun challenge for me because I never really tend to use markers or pencils either. Either. This is going to be a really fun challenge for me because I personally don't really use markers or pencils very much. So it's going to be a fun challenge. So we've got another Jazza set of pencils here. Still no beard on Jazza though. Inside we have, oh, oh, these are really nice. I have never used Spectrum Noir markers or pencils before. So I'm just really excited to see how these work and see how they compare to the pencils I've used previously. There's a nice little collection here. Very, very pretty. I love the color choices as well. So he's got some purple ones, some blue ones there. Just like uh, basically colors that I personally would pick if I was picking some pencils for something. They just look really nice. And these colors go perfectly with all of the markers. So this is something that I always really love about Jazz's boxes is that they always like work well together. Everything that you see in the box is everything you need, which my friend Jackie would tell you, that's rare to find in a box. So this box, awesome. Damn it, I was trying to be all like ASMR then. <laughs> Pencils. Next up, we have our Jazz's Pro Artist Series art liner set. So fine line sketch pens. And we have a bunch of different styles here. I always get scared I'm gonna ruin the boxes, even though I don't care about boxes from literally any other art kit. I always like to keep the Jazza stuff. Okay, so these are the markers. Very, very nice. Ooh, I love a good brush pen. Let's see how this works, shall we? Ooh, look at that. That's a nice pen. I like that. That is a nice pen. I'm easily amused, if you can't tell. Try these ones out. So we've got a lot of options here for our markers. Very nice. These I'm so excited to use. I just feel really nice on the paper, so. And last but not least, we have three more items. One of these is an eraser, just a little old standard eraser that you get from any other art kit. And then we have two pencils here, already pre-sharpened, which is very, very helpful. These are just a standard 2B and HB pencil. So basically, as I said before, Jazza has literally put everything in this box that you're gonna ever use. So you've got your pencils, your markers, your pencils, again, and some more markers. So do I think this is worth the $100 that it costs? I absolutely do because for a standard 26 set of Spectrum Noir markers, they don't actually sell a 26 piece set, but they do have a 12 piece and a 36 piece box set. The 12 piece sets sell for $44.95. And you get the extra edition colored pencils. You also get the artist liners. You get your pencils, you get your paper. Really good deal. I'm very excited. I'm not really sure what I should make. I don't know if I'm gonna make something of my own or maybe just do a coloring page. And yeah, I think it's about time we get started trying all this out and let's get started. I figured we would do one of these coloring pages. I feel there are a lot of options here. None of these are like overly my style. So I think it's gonna be interesting to see really which one I can kind of do but continue in my own style. This one is cool. It reminds me of Ursula a little bit, but as a monster. I really love how distinct his artwork is. Honestly, I keep getting drawn back to this one. I'm not sure why. I think it's just because he reminds me of like Merlin the wizard. I feel like the, my choices honestly are between these two. I think I'm actually going to do the wizard because this one seems to be like calling my name more than any of the other ones. And I'm actually a really big fan of Merlin, the show, and just like the whole lore behind Merlin and Arthur. In fact, I actually named my dogs Merlin and Arthur. So basically, 
I think this one is going to be fun and we're going to give it a try. I feel like I'm going to give him a blue robe. I'm probably going to give him a new hat as well because he doesn't have a hat on. Please excuse my lack of experience with markers because I do not have much. Maybe I should have made this red actually <laughs> instead of blue, but oh well. Oh, you know what would be quite nice? If the outside of his cape was red, but the inside was blue. That's quite a fun idea. Let's do that. These markers are beautiful quality. I've literally only ever had one set of Spectrum Noir before and I'm pretty sure I didn't even use them yet. So they, they really remind me of obviously the Copic markers, which are way more expensive. But what I prefer is that they have a small nib versus a chisel nib because chisel nibs, I just don't see the point of them personally. I just have never used them. I just do not understand the purpose of a chisel nib. I'm gonna add in some lighter colors here. Do a little bit of blending. I'm honestly, to be honest with you, gonna do a lot of blending with the pencils when this is done because I really love to blend in pencils with marker. Ooh, see these blend really nice. Like to me, that is a decent blend. To other people, maybe not so much, but I feel like that's a pretty decent blend. Some of you may be screaming like, Chloe, that looks terrible. But I think it looks quite good. I'm gonna try and add some darker though now. Okay, so I'm working on this. I'm really liking it so far. I'm excited to use the pencils though to really bring it to life. These blend so nicely, really, really nicely. But yeah, I actually really like how this is looking so far. I mean, the blend is satisfying to do. I'm gonna use some of this darker. Red to create the illusion of shadow in the book. Okay, his little satchel filled with maps or whatever this is. I'm probably gonna make it, mm, I don't know. I'm gonna make his pants black. Okay, for the rest of his pants, I'm gonna make it like this tan color. Cool, okay. So he's got some snazzy pants there. Nice. And his shoes probably gonna be the same color. Let's make his little satchel black though. Okay, so I'm gonna make this like a little book of spells. So I'm gonna write on here with the brush marker. There we go. Okay, so let's make a green spell book, shall we? It might look weird, but oh well. And then we need to make the pages like a yellow because it's going to be like a nasty old smelly book with like moldy pages. These are so smooth. Like, honestly, they're like so crazy how smooth they are. Like, as a beginner, like as a beginner blender, look how that blended. Maybe a bit of like shine on his forehead because he's like walking and he's a bit hot and bothered.
Okay, so this is where we're at right now. I think what I'm gonna do is finish up with his shoes. I'm mostly done with the maps now. And obviously I have his gloves as well, which I'll probably end up making brown. Let's see. I just realized that's not his finger either, that's his cane. <laughs> We're gonna give him a yellow cane. No rhyme or reason behind that. I just want to give him a yellow cane. Can we add a bit of orange in there too? Cool. Okay, so he is done with the markers at least. I think what I'm gonna do now is just kind of enhance certain areas with the colored pencils. I'm not really sure how this is gonna go, but we're gonna see. These pencils glide so beautifully over the marker. They really do work nicely together. I love that there's always a pencil as well that matches the shade of the marker. So you can just use it to enhance certain areas, which I really like a lot. Okay, so I am now done with this coloring page. This is how it turned out. I'm really, really happy with it. Like, genuinely, this is way out of my comfort zone. Not just this medium, but also drawing or coloring over something like this. It's not something that I personally would really make. So it's nice to do something totally different to my normal style. This took me probably about an hour to an hour and a half. And when you count in how many coloring pages that he gives you. There is a lot of value, a lot of time and a lot of value that goes into this box. So I figured since I have so many pieces of blank marker paper, I would give it a go to make something of my own, something more in my usual realm of style. And yeah, let's get started with that. I need to fine line it. Okay, and now I'm gonna add some nice shading to certain parts. Now I'm just adding a bunch of highlights with this white jelly roll pen, just because it gives it a really nice effect. Just adding a bunch of snowflakes really, because I feel like snowflakes just make everything look better. <laughs> Okay, so there is my little gingerbread house. I did that in about 25, 30 minutes. So he's not proportionately accurate. He's more just illustrative, like he'd seen a little kid's book or something. But it really shows how much effect you can get from some markers and a white jelly roll pen and also obviously some pencils. I didn't really use pencils too much in this. And of course, my little old Merlin man with his book of spells. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much to Jazza for sending me this awesome box. And remember, if you would like to win one for yourself, comment down below, make sure you subscribe and like this video and you'll be entered to win. But yes, for now, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. 
I will leave a link down below as to where you can purchase this kit if you are interested. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.